Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. As you can tell from the title, today we're going to be talking about my monthly favorites, specifically the products I've been using and loving for the month of October. We are in November. We have two months left in the year, y'all. It is Christmas season. Yes, I'm that person. Okay, we're in, we're in the season of giving. We're in the season of festivity. Halloween is out. Thanksgiving and Christmas is in. If you guys are interested in seeing what I've been obsessed with over this past month, I have new products, I have some old products. October was a good month for me product-wise. I feel like I've found a bunch of new stuff. Also, we fell in love with some things that I have had for a while. But if you guys are just interested in seeing what I would recommend for you guys to check out, what I've been obsessed with over the last month, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and start off with body products and then we'll do skincare and then finish off with makeup. The first body product, well, these first two products, they're in the same line, but when I tell you they are a must, amazing, the best, like amazing, it is a body oil and a body lotion. Now one thing you know about me, I will always recommend a good body cream and a good body oil. I'd be seeing the comments, y'all be like, oh my God, your skin's glowing, what are you using? What are you when I tell you about a body product, believe me, get your hands on it. The product that I'm talking about is the Vaseline Radiant Deep Nourishment pure shea butter body cream this is their new i think line that they came out with it's called the radiant line they have like a body lotion the body cream and a body oil and i think they have something else i picked up the body cream and then i'll show you the body oil but when i tell you i have been i don't know if you guys can see like the product she has been used and abused. I've ordered mine on Amazon. I will make sure that I link everything in the description box down below. It's only $10 or $11 on its own, so it's not too pricey. I did get a 30% off discount when I ordered both of these products. So really, really inexpensive, affordable. I'm pretty sure you can find these in the stores now. I don't know if they're there yet. When I tell you this body cream is so good, it doesn't have a crate. There is a scent, but it's like very like... It's, it doesn't smell like shea, but it's like a little coconutty um, with a little bit of warmth. Like I, that's the best way to describe it, but it's super thick. It's super moisturizing. It leaves your skin really, really glowy, really, really smooth. If you love um, Nivea's body lotion, the one in the blue tub, I love that one, the almond oil one. You are going to love this, um, the Radiant Body Cream by Vaseline. You guys, I always, I'm telling you, I'd be t I recommend the best of the best when it comes to body because I don't play, okay? I, one thing about me, I'm always moisturized and I'm always glowing all hours of the day. <laughs> if you guys want a new inexpensive body cream that is going to hydrate your skin, leave it glowy, really just give you that moisture and just you're going to look so good. And it's cold. It's freezing where I'm at. We are entering the winter months, okay? I don't know where you guys live, but I live in Georgia and the temperatures have a drop we are in the 40s 50s maybe 30s in the morning so we're getting into those really really cold months and this has been doing an amazing job in keeping my skin moisturized so i definitely highly recommend for you guys to check this out and then the next product like i said i also purchased the vaseline radiant replenishing body oil this looks like this i love using both them the body cream and the body oil together the body oil is really really nice on its own let me show you guys so this is how my hand looks by itself i'm gonna just pump a drop and put that on like look at that it is super duper moisturizing hydrating glowy like if you want to take the body cream on another level or to the next level get the body oil and put them together like magic made in heaven you guys i promise you the body oil doesn't have a scent so if you're not a fan of like scented body oils you're gonna love this because it doesn't really have a scent it has a very 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 faint scent that smells similar to the body cream but the body cream does have more of a scent than the actual oil itself this has jojoba oil coconut oil and vitamin e oil and it also have one percent lipids which lipids are skin um, what lipids are like a skin barrier replenishing kind of um, ingredient so it's gonna be leaving your skin beautiful glowy I mean just the goodness okay if you guys love body products I'm telling you guys check out these two products from the Vaseline radiant line I haven't tried their body lotion so I'm not sure how that is I'm sure it's pretty good but I prefer body creams I prefer more thicker products so if you don't if you're not a fan of thick 
lotions i would say maybe try their body lotion which comes in a tube but if you like those like thicker more hydrating creams definitely check out the body cream and i highly recommend to, to pick up the oil as well and pair them together you're gonna be glowing and your skin's your skin is going to thank you so definitely check those two products out okay next we're gonna jump into fragrances i have three fragrances that i've been really really enjoying this month and they're perfect for this fall and semi-winter season um the first one is one that is i'm y'all obsessed is an understatement okay i am in love i love this fragrance it is me in a bottle and i say that about only a certain amount of fragrances there's certain fragrances that i'm just like that's lorene and this is one of them i'm talking about the armani magenta tanzanite fragrance it looks like this this is part of the armani Privé line can we get into the bottle sorry for the fingerprints <laughs> But can we get into the bottle, you guys? Like, just so stunning. Like, the bottle itself is what really made me want it. But then when I saw the notes, I said, oh, you're going to you're gonna be this collection. You're coming into my collection. I'm making room for you. And I have been obsessed. This is a perfect, warm, spicy, smooth, slightly sweet, but more so, like, spicy kind of scent. Like, this smells so good if you love or if you're into if you're into fragrance du bois mini ou de me that one is like in the same kind of family as this they don't smell the same but they're in the same kind of range let me go ahead and read you guys the notes of this fragrance so magenta tanzanite by armani Privé is considered a warm spicy vanilla sweet tobacco-ish kind of scent um the top notes are going to be cardamom ginger and bergamot middle notes are cinnamon coffee and myrrh and base notes are tobacco, vanilla, and tonka bean. I mean, like, there's not one note that, I've, that I'm not obsessed with in this fragrance. I mean, I love cardamom. It gives it that spiciness, that cinnamon, that coffee, myrrh. Myrrh is one of my favorite notes when it comes to winter fragrances. Like, myrrh is just, oh, my God. Such a good note. Uh, tobacco, vanilla, tonka, y'all. Like, if you, if you love fragrances like me, if you love those warm, those spicy, those little woody, just like sexy kind of scents, you are going to be obsessed with this. This is just perfect. I love this so much. It's pricey, but it's worth it. This is worth it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent worth it. I will link you down below. If you guys have never gotten your nose on this, I highly recommend to maybe try to find a sample. But if you you know yourself and you know you like those like warm, really spicy, really fall kind of like sexy, cozy kind of scents, you're not gonna be disappointed with this. I promise you. Even if you blind bought it, I there's a ninety five percent chance you're gonna like this. So definitely check this out. It has been. I have been obsessed with this all month long. I've been wearing it every other day. Every couple days, I'm I'm wearing this, okay? It's been my new favorite, and I cannot put it down. The next two fragrances are from the same brand. I recently got them about two weeks ago when they restocked, because they did launch a month ago, I think, but they were sold out and finally restocked, and I wanted to pick them up and try them out. They're by a black-owned fragrance brand, one of my favorite black-owned fragrances brand, which is Dawkins Aroma. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of them. If you've not, I don't know where you've been, but you need to check them out. I've talked about them before numerous times on this channel. I have their body oils. I have a ton of their body fragrances. They are amazing, 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 affordable. And the quality that you guys get in the fragrances and longevity, you just can't beat the price. And the two fragrances, I'm going to start off with one. The first fragrance I've been obsessed with, I've never, I've heard so many people talk about this fragrance, but I've never gotten my nose on it. But the notes really, really sounded like something that I would enjoy because you guys know, I know the kind of scents that I like. So I read the notes and I'm like, okay, am I going to like this or am I not going to like this? But it, I was really intrigued by this and I wanted to try it out, but I didn't want to buy the actual fragrance because it's pricey. It's pricey. But the first one I'm talking about is Dawkins Aroma Cozy Cola. So Cozy Cola is supposed to be inspired by Mancera's Tonka Cola. The notes for this fragrance are going to be black cherry, cinnamon, nutmeg, cola, patchouli, tonka, vanilla, benzoin, and labdanum. Y'all, I don't know. Okay. When people say like Tonka, Mancera's Tonka Cola, you do get like a Coca-Cola. 
you get a cola vibe. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but if you know what Coca-Cola smells like, you get a hint of that in this, but it's like perfumey and like sexy and like elevated. First of all, I love the new bottles that Dawkins Aroma has now. You have a magnetic top and they've changed the bottles to be these sleek bottles. Before they used to be like more curvy. I like this look. I love it. Really, really good um, change. And the product, the fragrance, the juice, you guys, this is like a, how do I describe Cozy Cola? Oof, yes, okay. If you love spicy, sweet, a little, a little woodsy, because it has patchouli. It does, it has patchouli, and you know patchouli is a very, it's a very, if you know, with some people. So I'm not going to say you have to like patchouli to like Cozy Cola, but if you love more, like, sweeter, spicier gourmands with a hint of, like, woodiness, earthiness just a little bit just a little bit you're gonna really really like this oh i've been obsessed with this especially at nighttime when it starts to get really cold i love these like really spicy a little sweet like those really deep scents this is amazing love it love it love it if you guys have never smelled if you guys have been wanting to try tonka cola by mancera but you don't want to spend that price definitely check out cozy cola by Dawkins aroma because it's amazing it's amazing i'm obsessed and I absolutely love it. Next fragrance that I've been obsessed with also by Dawkins Aroma is Twice Baked. This fragrance is completely different from Cozy Cola. Completely different vibe. This is like a nutty, more like pistachio, like you're in like a bakery, sweet, warm, like kind of vibe, okay? Like that's what Twice Baked is. So Twice Baked is supposed to be inspired by Zhirzhov's uh, Cosmarati Italica. And this fragrance, you guys, it's, oh my God, it's so beautiful and smooth. The notes are saffron. You guys know I love saffron. Saffron is like my favorite, one of my, it's become one of my favorite notes this year. Saffron, almond, toffee, milky accord, bourbon vanilla, cedarwood, and musk. Like this is like, oh my God. I don't. Mm, it's just like a smooth, sweet, you have, okay, this fragrance is nutty, okay? You get that toffee for sure. Like that toffee is coming out, that milky accord. It's a milky, a little nutty kind of fragrance, but it's really sweet, but not sickly sweet. It's like cozy. Like it just, it's so warm. The best way to describe this fragrance, okay? You walk in somebody's house, they're burning marshmallow fireside. They're burning that candle, okay? So you got the marshmallows fireside in the air. Someone's also baking something, like cookies. Like, what kind of cookies? I don't know. Sugar cookies, okay? And then, and then you, I don't know, you're drinking a latte. That makes no sense. But, like, it's nutty, it's sweet, it's warm, it's cozy. It's just so good. It is so good. It's a gourmand scent. Like if you are a gourmand lover, you love those sweet edible scents, Twice Baked is for you for sure, okay? You guys gotta check this out. And I know, Zhirzhov is expensive, okay? So if you've been wanting to try Cosmorati Italica and you're like, baby, I don't wanna pay that price, okay? Twice Baked by Dawkins Aroma is where you need to go. I honestly don't even need the originals because these are doing it for me. This is all I need. I'm good, okay? You guys, check out this brand. It's a black-owned brand. They create amazing fragrances, amazing products. Price is amazing. Like, everything about it is 10 out of 10. So, definitely check them out. So, next up, we're going to jump into skincare. I have pr four products that I want to talk to you guys about. Some of them are old. Some of them are new. Let's just jump into it. I'm going to first start off with the serums. One, you guys have seen me mention, I don't even know how many times at this point. But every time, fall and winter... I always go back to this. Like I use it all year round, but this time of year especially is when this product just does it for me. I'm talking about Merit Great Skin. 
Instant Glow Serum. This is how it looks like. As you can see, I am working through my bottle. I think this is like my third bottle of this um, serum. I use this all the time, okay? I use it in the morning, I use it at night, anytime I wash my face. Really, I use this more in the morning when I'm going to the gym or like a workout class. When I, when I get up in the morning to go to the gym, I do not wash my face. I don't do my full skincare routine because I'm going to sweat. So I get up, I wash my face with water. Obviously, you got to get the cross out the eyes. And then I go in with an oil serum or something that's like an oil-based kind of product because it's freezing in the morning. So I need to get moisture in my face while also locking. I need to lock in the moisture in my face but also not have a product that's really, really heavy because I'm about to go work out. And this is perfect for that. I love this serum so much. You get a ton of product, 1.7 ounce for 38 bucks. I hope the price hasn't changed. Um, you get a lot of product in here. It's amazing. I love Merit Beauty products. They have great products. This serum, I've been using it for over a year now, and I've repurchased it multiple times. I cannot rave enough about this. It's amazing. If you're looking for a serum that has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, those are the main ingredients in this. So you get both of those, which are perfect, amazing ingredients for all skin types, honestly. You get the moisture. You get the glow, okay? If you love a glowy, like, Skin base kind of glass skin kind of look this is a serum for you definitely definitely check this out if you've not tried it out yet I don't know what you're doing with your life if you're on the fence about trying it I hope this video gets you to try it because I love this and it's absolutely amazing the next thing I'm going to talk about is by Versed Beauty this is the Sunday morning antioxidant oil serum so the product looks like this I hope you guys can see it so it is separate so that it's two parts I think the oil is at the top and then there's the serum and the product at the bottom. You have to shake it up before you put it on your face, but I love this. It's so, so, so nice. Anytime you just want your skin to feel really, really hydrated or you've, you can use this on its own. You can use it at the end of skincare. You could do whatever you want to do with this product. It's very versatile. There's not like one way to use it. I use it mostly the same way that I use my Merit Beauty Serum kind of in the morning but this one i do use more like at night anytime i've done my skincare and i want to kind of just top everything off with the oil that's not too heavy i love putting this on it's so 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 nice first skincare is amazing i love a lot of their products honestly there's not one product i've tried for them that i don't like at this point everything that i've tried for them i absolutely love you can get them at target i would say they're affordable you know they're not like super duper cheap but they're not Sephora price okay it's like right in the middle and they're accessible because you can get them at Target and you can get them at drugstores I'm assuming you I don't know if you can get them at Walmart but I definitely know you can get them at Target so I've really been enjoying this antioxidant serum it's really really nice love it for this time of year because it's super cold and all I want to do is hydrate hydration 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 is all I'm focused on when it comes to skincare especially when it's cold you got to keep your skin hydrated because this weather is not looking out for nobody, okay? This weather is out here for its own purpose and it's to terrorize. You need something to lock in moisture and to just make your skin feel plumpy, dewy, glowy. This is a serum to check out. So definitely make sure you guys give this a shot. I will link all the products down below in the description box that I'm talking about so you guys can check them out. But I have been obsessed with these two serums this past month and I cannot put them down. Next two uh, skincare products are moisturizers. The first one is a new one to me. I did pick it up um, on the last Amazon Prime Day. This next moisturizer is not a new brand to me because I do love one of their products that I've tried. It's one of my favorites and I, I just cannot put it down. This product is the CauseRx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. It looks like this. In my last favorites, I told you guys about the snail serum and how I've been obsessed. Obsessed, okay? Well, when Amazon did their deals again, I said, let me pick up the cream and see what the hype is about. Because a lot of people like this as well. I said, if I love the essence, I don't see why I won't like this. And y'all, so good. So good. It is a very interesting texture, like it's that snail like mucin kind of thing. But when I tell you like your skin, your skin will be so happy that you put this on its face, especially if you pair it with the essence, those two together, oh my God, okay? This cream is so, so, so good. It is not too super thick. I would say it's like a gel cream formula. Like it has that gel vibe, but it has also like a cream vibe. Like it's not super duper thick, but it's not super duper lightweight. It's a perfect in between as far as the texture goes. The way it makes your skin look, the way your skin's hydrated, 
like you wake up looking like somebody just injected a bunch of collagen into your skin okay like your skin is brand new it is revived it is baby but smooth it's glowing it's everything if you are looking for a cream that's just gonna hydrate your skin plump up your skin just really feed it back in like if you're having a lot of issues with irritation maybe redness like you and you want something that's calming on your face this this cream is amazing. I have been obsessed. I really think a lot of you guys should check it out if you've never tried it out before. I don't know if you, any of you guys have um, tried out the Essence. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have tried that. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mama has it already. But if you are just like me and you tried that and you are wondering if this cream is good, I'm here to let you know that it is, okay? And you guys need to get your hands on it because it's amazing. Last skincare product I'm going to talk about is one that I've used for years. I've purchased it, I don't even know, like maybe five times at this point. I love this so much one because it's a moisturizer too because it has some screen components in it because yes even though it's fall and winter it does not mean the sun is still not sunning okay we still got to wear sunscreen all day every day 365 days a year the product that I'm talking about is the Fenty skin SPF 30 moisturizer I have been obsessed with this lately I recently picked it up again when um, Fenty Beauty did their family sale because I had it out of my collection I did have it in my skincare collection for a while I don't know why I didn't purchase it I think it's because I try so many new products that I just kind of get sucked into the loop of new things that I kind of forget about what I used to love but I picked it back up because I knew I used to really really like it and oh my god I'm so happy I did it is exactly the same I am still obsessed it's amazing it's a beautiful thick it is a thicker moisturizer I would say it's not super duper lightweight in my opinion but your skin is beautiful. Like, it's glowing. You have that protection from the SPF 30. It's just amazing. I love, 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 love this moisturizer. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have tried it before. But if you've never tried it, I would highly recommend to try it. It's a one and done. Okay? When I'm being lazy and I kind of just don't feel like doing a lot, I use this. Okay? I wash my face and I use this. And keep it pushing. Moisturize, hydrated. SPF. That's all you really need. Okay, if you want to keep it simple, that's really all you need. So if you guys have never tried this out, I highly recommend it. It's an amazing moisturizer. I'll make sure that I link it down below so you guys can check it out. Okay, lastly, we're going to jump into makeup products that I've been really, really enjoying over the past month. I'm going to go ahead and start off with two foundations. They are both newer to me. And when I tell you, you guys, these have swooped me off my feet, okay? I love a good complexion product. I think my favorite part of makeup is complexion. Just like seeing my skin just come together. I love eye makeup, but there's nothing like a good base. Comment down below and let me know if you agree. These two foundations, you guys, I don't care what kind of skin you have, you need to have it, okay? You need to try it and you need to have it. The first one is one that I actually have on today. If you think my skin is skinning, give this video a thumbs up. The product that I'm talking about is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint Stick. Is this a skin tint or is this a foundation? They market it as a foundation. I don't know. It's amazing, okay? I love this. It's so, so, so good. I wear the shade 21. You guys, this is like butter. It's like putting butter on your skin. Literally, that's the best way to describe it. It is so beautiful. It wears so well. I personally like this way better than I do the actual liquid skin tint. I know. The only downside about this is that you get less product, but I don't care. I don't care because the way my skin be looking when I wear this skin tint stick, unmatched. I mean, come on. Do you guys see the skin? Come. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna give you a minute, okay? We're gonna get. We're gonna give this skin tint stick a moment of silence. I don't have to say much okay this is so beautiful and I have oily combination skin I don't think this is super drying at all I do think if you have dry skin you would love this as well it's a, I feel like it's in between it gives you like a skin like finish while it's still blurring but it's not like matte I don't even know it's like a satin kind of look on the skin it's beautiful it wears really really well it covers really well. I would say it's like a medium coverage. You can build it up. You could do so much with this. And I love how you could just throw it in your bag, throw it in your makeup bag. If you're traveling, this is travel friendly because it's plastic. So many good things about this foundation stick. It's so good. I've been obsessed and I know I'm going to be using it like crazy, especially this winter when it's super duper 
duper cold. This is a time that I really like my skin to glow. I'm not into the super duper matte look. Honestly, I'm not really into the matte look like I used to before. Even in the summertime, I'm strategic with where I place my certain makeup products so it can last long. But overall, I do like a more skin-like kind of do to my skin. I just feel like it makes you look a bit more youthful. There's nothing wrong with the matte look. I love a good matte look, okay? We love a good glam. But there's something about when your skin just looks like skin, okay? It's unmatched. And this does exactly that. So if you guys have never tried this out, if you've been on the fence about it, definitely pick it up because I really think you're going to enjoy it. I really, really think you're going to enjoy it. It's an amazing product. The next um, foundation, this is the actual foundation. This one is one that I, it took me a while to try it out. I'm not sure. I saw so many people talk about it. So many people review it. So many people rave about it, do ads for it. And, you know, as Laureen does, it's always late on the bandwagon. I mean, what's new? If you've been following me for years, you, you know I'm always late to the bandwagon. But I ended up actually stopping by the store and picking up a sample and I tried this foundation and I said, oh, I see. I see what the rave is about. This is the MAC Studio Radiance uh, Serum Powdered Foundation. <sighs> this is going to be my new favorite foundation for the winter time. I know that for a fact. It's, I mean, what can I say? Like, it's beautiful. I'm going to be doing a uh, makeup look coming up soon with like testing out new products with you guys that I recently purchased. And this is going to be in it because I've never shown you, I've never done like a demo or actually shown this foundation on a video. So you guys will see me apply it and use it in some videos to come. But when I tell you, you, you guys, if you love a good skin-like, dewy, kind of like medium coverage foundation, but lasts really, really well on your skin, this is what you need to get. I wear the shade NC50 is the shade that I am in the MAC Studio Radiance Foundation. Believe it or not, this is my first foundation from MAC. I have never had any MAC foundation. I've never really been into MAC like that. Believe it or not, it's crazy. I have always, I've had MAC products, but I've never considered myself a MAC girly in, by any means. But this, has sold me it is so 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 good the hype is definitely real it's a really really good foundation it's medium coverage it's skin like you have a beautiful glow to the skin it feels like nothing on your skin it wears really really well and i have combination oily skin okay so if it wears well on my skin it's gonna wear well on pretty much anything i really highly recommend for you guys to check this out if you've been on the fence about it or you're not really sure if you need it you know because it's not like we really need a lot of this stuff it's more so I want, but I definitely think this is for sure worth it. It's a beautiful foundation. I think I've never tried, like I said, I've never tried any of the other MAC foundations, so I can't speak on the other ones, but I'm glad this was my first one because I, 10 out of 10, not disappointed. It's a beautiful product and I highly recommend for you guys to check it out. Next makeup product that I've been really, really obsessed with is one that I use more so on a daily basis on like my skin like no makeup makeup kind of days. This is the e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. It looks like this. I hope you guys can see it. I have the shade Deep. It might look a little bit brighter because of the light, but it is, a, it's a little bit, it's not my skin tone, but it is brighter. And I love using this on my under eyes, especially when I have like my no makeup makeup days, like when I kind of just want to brighten up like my face without putting like concealer or doing all that extraness. I love this. It's it's supposed to be like a dupe or similar to the NARS uh, eye brightening product. I was going to get that, but then I was like, do I really need it? Do I really want it? And then one day I was at the store and I saw this and I was like, ooh, let me pick that up and try it. And it's really, really good. It is more of like a dewy kind of finish. So if you're not into that, I don't know if you're going to like this, but it does cancel out your redness, your... Um, discoloration underneath your eyes it brightens it up it does uh powder applies well on top of this i will say that it's a good skin like kind of product it's not going to make you your under eyes look dry it has like a little glow to it too so it kind of reflects the light it's it's really really nice product and it's only six dollars okay it's six dollars what do you have to lose uh starbucks coffee <laughs> you guys if you've been wanting to try out a um the nars eye brightener but you're like i don't want to spend that money Try the e.l.f. one first and see if you like it. And then if you like it, then go try the NARS. But I really do like this product. It's really, really nice. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. I've been enjoying it and I think you guys will enjoy it too. So definitely give it a shot.
The next product that I've been obsessed with is an eyeshadow palette. It's an eyeshadow palette that's been out for a really, 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 really long time. And I use it sparingly. I've been really trying to get into like reusing a lot of like my older eyeshadow palettes and making sure products are still getting love and being in rotation. And I forgot how much I loved this palette. I actually have it on my eyes today. If you're wondering like what's on my eyes, this is what's on my eyes. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette. I mean, this is a staple. If you are a makeup lover and if you love eyeshadows and if you love nudes, shimmers, mattes, kind of like an all-in-one palette, you need this. Let me show you guys the colors on the inside. The colors look like this. I hope you guys can see. I hope the, the, the light isn't washing it out too much, but it is such a gorgeous palette. Right now I have on the shade um, Maple in my crease. I have on Rose Gold in my actual eyelid. And then I have on a little bit of Truffle just to deepen up underneath the eye. This eyeshadow palette is amazing. The shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are pigmented, it's blend, blendable. Just everything about this is amazing. It's a staple palette. It usually goes on sale a lot at Ulta, so if you, you don't necessarily have to get it full price, but if you've never tried out, if you've been wanting to get this palette and you just want a good natural palette, nudes, shimmers, mattes, this is a great one to check out. I've really fallen in love with it. It's a great basic, especially for this time of year. Beautiful colors. You get the nudes, you get the bronziness, the plums, the everything. You just get it. You get everything. So definitely check this out if you've been looking for a new staple eyeshadow palette. Okay, and last but not least, I have a lip gloss I have been obsessed with. This lip gloss is not new to me as far as formula, but the color is. I have it on my lips right now. It is absolutely stunning. And this is the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Bomb in the new shade, which is Champ Stamp Fantasy. This shade is like gold with like reflex and like a peach kind of. It's just so pretty. Let me put it on my lips so you guys can see. Like... I wish you guys could see the glitter and the glimmer in this color. I mean, this is universal. This will look good on all skin tones on anybody. If you you guys already know, the um, Gloss Bomb is a beautiful formula, one of my favorite lip glosses. And this shade, I've just been obsessed with. If you're into like those gold, shimmery, nudes, peachy kind of like shades, you're going to be obsessed with this. So definitely pick this up because it is 100% worth it. Alrighty guys, that is it. Those are all the products I have been obsessed with and currently loving for the month of October. I will make sure that I link everything in the description box down below that I mentioned in today's video so you guys can check them out. You guys, I'm telling you, 10 out of 10, okay? I do not recommend anything that's not 10 out of 10. If you want to try anything new, make sure you click that link down below so you can check the products out. I cannot believe we're already in November. Time is flying, okay? Time is flying. I can already see New Year's. New Year's is right there. New Year's is right around the corner. It's insane. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love monthly favorites so I can continue to make them for you guys in the future. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys have been loving for the month of October. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I will be uploading next. Thank you guys once again. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye.